Cities across the state are taking drastic measures to ensure the public health safety of residents. The city of Birmingham has instituted a shelter in place ordinance and now the city of Tuscaloosa is mandating a curfew. CBS 42's Malik Rinkin is live in Tuscaloosa tonight. Malik. Starting Friday night, all Tuscaloosa residents must stay inside their homes from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says he'll continue to increase restrictions as long as the coronavirus case counts keep climbing. The mandated curfew begins Friday night and will remain in effect until April 3rd. There are exceptions for essential work and activities. Maddox says he's taking these steps now, hoping it'll pay off in the future. Know this. This may be the first of many steps. I have ordered our incident command team to begin looking at additional measures that could be put in place if necessary uh, to continue to ensure the uh, safety of this community. And several residents I spoke with agree. One Alabama student says she's worried for the people that don't think about others. A lot of people like my age, probably between like 18 and 22, 23, aren't taking it seriously with I mean, it kind of sucks to see that because we're the ones that are like obviously healthy. Others say it won't make a difference with so many students forced off campus. My opinion, I don't think it's really necessary. A lot of people are going anyway. Some even think the mayor's curfew is too little, too late. I personally don't think anybody's doing enough. This is my first time leaving the house in a couple of days, and it kind of scares me that Tuscaloosa is still up and running. Maddox says he's been forward leaning in the steps he's taken in the last month. Mayor Maddox says several changes will be made to city offices, like reducing staff, but those offices will remain open and functioning. In Tuscaloosa, I'm Malik Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage. You can count on.